वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो रिसेंटली मेनी विंडोज यूजर्स आर अपग्रेडिंग फ्रॉम विंडोज टेन टू विंडोज इलेवन एंड इफ यू ऑल्सो हैव रिसेंटली अपग्रेडेड टू विंडोज इलेवन दैन इट्स रिकमेंडेड दैट यू शुड डिलीट अ फाइल दैट गेट सेव्ड ऑन यू विंडोज इलेवन बाई द नेम विंडोज डॉट ओल्ड नाउ वॉट हैपन वेन एवर यू अपग्रेड टू विंडोज इलेवन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट गिव यू टेन डेज टू रोल बैक टू विंडोज टेन इन केस इफ यू डोंट लाइक विंडोज इलेवन So if you go to your settings in the recovery option you get this go back option that get highlighted within 10 days. So if you want to switch back to Windows 10 then you can go back but if you really don't want to go back to Windows 10 and you want to continue with Windows 11 then it's recommended that you should delete that file because it occupy a lot of storage. So let me show you if I bring up my file explorer So right now you can see I have around only 37.3 gigabyte free in C drive and if I click on it you can see there is a file that will be saved on your Windows 11 by the name windows.old and it occupy a lot of storage lot of space on your disk and which is not required if you really don't want to go back to Windows 10 in order to delete it what you will have to do right click on the windows icon go to settings click on system then you have to look for the storage option click on it and here it will be loading all kind of categories occupying the space so you have to look for the temporary file and click on it now here it will take some time to load all kind of temporary file section so you will have to wait again until it's all been done and once the scanning will be completed you will find here previous windows installation and you can read it says file from a previous windows installation files and folder that may conflict with the installation of windows have been moved to folder name windows.old you can access data from the previous windows installation in this folder so this is really not required if you have upgraded to windows 11 and you don't want to go back to windows 10 and you can see it's around 15.1 gigabyte on my end now this can be more depending that how much data you had on your windows 10 so what you will have to do you need to select it then you can select other kind of categories here in order to clear the cache and then click on remove file click on continue now again it will take some time to clean all these files so you will have to wait all right so now on my end it took about 3 to 4 minute in order to uh, delete all the file so we are all done here now and this time if i go to the file explorer and refresh it So you can see earlier I had around 37.1 gigabyte free and now I have 53 gigabyte free of 76.5 gigabyte. So this way you can get extra storage on your drive because this is a folder that create a lot of storage and you really don't need if you don't want to go back to Windows 10. That's all guys for today. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.